Good Monday afternoon, and here's your webcast for today. The big question is coming up 4th of July. It's tomorrow, uh, so the big question is, are we going to expect any rain? Well, uh, we're going to stick around and find that one out. Looking at weather conditions right now, at least, seeing some scattered showers and storms moving out of Blount and Etowah County into Cherokee County, as well as a few isolated ones over in uh, Hamilton um, in Winston County as well, or Marion County, sorry, as well. Temperatures from earlier today as well, or highs rather for today. Very warm, 92, 90 for Tuscaloosa and Demopolis. Coleman, the coolest, around 87. Obviously, that's a little bit expected. That's where they've seen some of that rain throughout the day. That means a little bit of additional cloud cover, keeping things just a little bit on the cooler side. Looking at our future cast as we get into tomorrow, seeing those scattered showers and storms still for a good chunk of northern central Alabama. But as start going through the day, that line of rain starts breaking down. Here we are around 12 p.m., much drier conditions out there, still seeing a few isolated showers and storms out there. That'll last on into around 4 to 5 p.m., and suddenly no more rain to talk about. Here we are, 8 p.m., mostly clear skies, still seeing some clouds out there, but no rain. And that's the main thing that everybody's worried about for tomorrow night because everybody's going to want to shoot fireworks. And the good news is it's going to be looking very nice, or if you're not going to be shooting them, you're going to be out watching them. And I don't think anybody wants to be sitting outside while and get rained on. Uh, so good news is it's looking very nice. Wednesday, 8 a.m., partly cloudy skies. We're going to see another batch of some isolated showers or storms throughout the day. Um, but the good news is temperature is still remaining warm and it's not going to be an all day rain. Around 5 p.m., still seeing those scattered showers and storms, but eventually come to an end overnight and we get into Thursday. We'll be starting off clear once again, but by Thursday afternoon, it's going to be the exact same situation, seeing more scattered showers and storms developing. Overnight tonight, temperatures dropping off into those lower 70s, though still seeing those isolated storms towards the north. Muggier conditions for everybody, though, with winds coming out of the north. And for the day tomorrow, Mostly to partly cloudy sky, or mostly clear to partly cloudy skies throughout the day. Just seeing the chance for those isolated showers and storms to develop, as well as North Alabama seeing a little bit more significant rain to start off early on in the morning, but then weakening as that system moves through during the day. And for the forecast for tomorrow night, for actual 4th of July, going out either watching fireworks or shooting them yourselves, temperatures in those upper 70s to lower 80s, muggy as well as partly cloudy skies, but overall not too bad. Uh, could be much worse, could be dealing with a bunch of rain, but the good news is we're not. And the rest of our forecast looking like we're going to be dealing with those isolated to scattered shower storms in the afternoons throughout the rest of this coming work week, even on into next weekend as well, when the front's going to be coming through, even on in the Monday, unfortunately, still seeing those scattered to isolated showers and storms. Temperatures as well, very warm in those 90s, mentioning all those warm temperatures. Going to go ahead and tease this starting Wednesday, so just a couple days away, starting our dog days of summer. So if you got pictures of your dog trying to beat the heat, send them in to Richard, and you'll get your dog on the news.